Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. I have posted several videos now, but I haven't posted a tutorial for sewing it in the inner back. So this is what I'm going to show, show you today. Uh, you will need, of course, the fabric for the inner back. Then I work with a sewing machine. I sew the inner back with a yarn in the color of the inner back and I fix it to the, to the crochet back with a either transparent yarn or um, a black yarn or a, color, a yarn in the color of your bag. So for me it's mostly the transparent one because I think you can see it um, the least. Um, but maybe if you would like to make an inner bag for a black bag then it could be that the black yarn is better. So except of that you will then need a sewing needle, a measuring tape and well, a uh, scissor and stuff like that, of course. So this is how my bag looks at the moment. And my client decided for this beautiful, colorful fabric here. And in order to sew an inner bag out of it, you will use the measuring tape and take the measure of your bag first. like this once all around like this and for me it's 59 centimeters and you always add two centimeters plus two for sewing. Then you take the me measure from the edge of your bag to the middle of the, of the bottom. And this is 16 centimeters for me. And here as well, you add two centimeters. So as you can see here, I cut out a part of the fabric, 61 centimeters times 18 centimeters and you now fold it together like this and we sew together the open sides. And this is how it's done now. Place it in your sewing machine and don't forget to go back and forth in the beginning and in the end of every, um, how do you call that? Well, don't forget to go back and forth in the beginning and in the end of however you call it, the part that you sew. And then I finish the first side, place the fabric in the sewing machine again. this and then make the other side and again don't forget to go back and forth in the beginning and in the end back and forth now Sew together the whole side. And back and forth again. A few stitches. So the absolute easiest way to sew the bottom of the inner bag is to fold it like shown. Like this. Place it on the table in front of you. And then take the bag and place it on the fabric to see how big the bottom has to be. You can I either do it like this by drawing a line there or just
do it with with eye measurement somewhere around there where it should be. <clears throat> and before I sew there, I cut off the um, the fabric of the of the edge here. Not too much though, but a little bit like this. Now take your sewing machine again and I had to double check because the pen that you saw didn't draw very well, so I had to check again. <clears throat> Somewhere there. And sew the side. Just a few stitches again. Don't forget to go back and forth in the beginning. And in the end. This and like this. Then do it on the other side as well. <laughs> Check again where you have to sew back and forth for a few stitches and again back and forth And it's done. If you open the back now, it will look like this. Ta -ta. Very nice. Afterwards, we place the inner bag in the crochet bag and see if everything fits. The upper side will be folded to, oops, to the inside, like shown. Sorry, I, I hit the camera. <laughs> it's not that easy to work with the camera in front of you. Place like this, right? Fold around the, the upper side of the inner back, like this. And then check if it fits in, if the bottom has the right size, and so on. <laughs> Looks good. And if it fits, you take it out again, and then you can cut away the edges here. Like this. On the other side as well. And this is your inner bag. So I almost forgot to uh, fix everything else on the bag while I was filming. So 
Here is just a short reminder that you of course have to fix the D-rings, the back feet, the closer, the plastic canvas and whatever you would like to have on your back um, has to be fixed before you sew on the inner back. So we now sew in the inner back and a very important part is to properly place the inner back in the crochet bag because if you sew it on and then in the very end you notice that it somehow doesn't look good, um, this is not placed right, the bottom doesn't fit in, then it's very annoying to open everything up again and do it again. So take your time, place everything properly in the in the crochet bag and I use these I think it's document clips how you say them call them to fix the fabric in the bag so as soon as everything looks nice you can start to sew it on So like I said, for me it's transparent yarn. You can't see it, which is why I use it. <laughs> you can also see, can't also see it in the video. So and I poke in through the normal stitches, and with my thumb I hold the end of the thread so that it doesn't glide through and then you poke in like this so you do not poke through both layers of fabric so that you are in the inside of the bag but you only poke through the part that we folded around so just through one layer and go back through the next normal stitch like this don't know what I'm doing there I think I adjust the camera and again poke through the normal stitch then poke through the first layer of fabric like this I think you can see it very well yes, like this and then Go back through the normal stitch here, like this. This way you will get a very nice and even edge on the same level like the like the normal stitches. We'll go on like this for the whole round of your bag and afterwards your inner bag is finished and you have this very nice edge here on the same level like you can see like the normal stitches. Maybe I can get a close-up of it, like this it looks afterwards. And your back is ready. 
so I hope you like the tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions left, just write a comment and I will answer everything.